the Honorable the Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda, the Honorable Minister of State for Economic Monitoring, my brother Judge Justice George Okello, the Honorable Member of Parliament of the area. In the interest of time, let me adopt the protocol that was laid this morning. My Lord the Chief Justice, first of all, I want to welcome you to Gulu High Court Circuit. I know that you hail from this area, but your coming here is not because you hail from this area. You've come here as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda, and you are a guest of Gulu High Court Circuit. So it's on that background that I welcome you to Gulu High Court Circuit. Secondly, I want to thank you for having accepted to come to Gulu High Court Circuit and spend one full week with us. The Chief Justice is a very busy person. Very, very, very busy. But because of the love he has for this part of the country, it is common knowledge that the Chief Justice has been on sick leave. And the first activity outside Kampala is a Choli sub-region. That is a reason to be thankful to him. There are a number of activities that have taken place since Monday. On Monday morning, we had a training of our judicial officers and support staff on customer care. And in that training, our judicial officers and support staff were taken through how they can treat litigants and people who come to the court to seek services. And they were reminded that they do not do this service as a favor because the Constitution demands or the Constitution says that judicial power is derived from the people and we exercise that power on behalf of the people. And it is against that background that when we treat or when we receive members of the public, litigants, we must accord them the respect because they are the very reason why we occupy these offices. So our judicial officers were taken through customer care. Again on Monday, the Chief Justice launched the video conferencing system for Gulu High Court, which links it with Gulu Main Prison. Now this system enables us, the court, to be able to hear cases from the court without the accused person moving from prison physically to come to the court. And in that way, a lot of time and resources is saved. But also when the launch was taking place, I made an appeal that this facility needs 
to be extended to courts like this one. Because if you had this facility here, and there was a witness who was coming for me and Pachua supposed to go to testify in Guru, there would be no reason to do that. The witness would simply come here, testify from here, and we would be able to hear the case from Gulu without necessarily appearing. That would save money and time. Manlok Palaman from the Pit Manoy Gulu, there was a me, on Tuesday, we had a similar function like this one in Amoro, Grade 1 Court. Yesterday, we were in Pitbull, and today we are here. Chiario, Ibera Moro, Nawo, Ibera Kiko, Pino, and Gago. Get in. Now, in a function like this one, one of the important things that we do is to account to our people. Like I said before, we exercise this judicial power on behalf of the people, and for that matter, we must account to the people who are our employers. <laughs> We also explain to you our challenges so that you should be able to understand and appreciate why certain things happen in a certain way. We understand that there is a lot of complaint that cases take too long to be disposed of. That seems to be general complaint from the members of the public. First of all, I want to say we are very sorry. As the head of the circuit, we are very sorry that your cases take too long because you entrusted us with this mandate and we should deliver this mandate in accordance with your wishes and aspirations. Let me speak about the magistrate's course. Our statistics as the, at the end of July this year shows that the cases in all the magistrate courts in the eight districts of Acholi, including Gulu City, stood at 2,802. And out of these 279 fall in the category of case backlog. In other words, they have been in the system for two years and above. In this region, we have four chief magistrates, women, four chief magisterial area, areas, that is, Kitgum Chief Magisterial Area, Pade Chief Magisterial Area, Gulu Chief Magisterial Area, and Noya Chief Magisterial Area. And then we have a total of 13 Grade 1 magistrates. The only area where any, any people chief magistrates are going, they can, my local district, when they are children, they are going, they can tell Gulu, tell Noya, tell Kitgum, tell Pade. 
Now, if you did a simple calculation, you'll find that if these 2,800 cases were distributed among these magistrates, each magistrate would only have less than 200 cases. And I'm saying, in my view, in the lower court, we should not have case backlog anymore. It is unacceptable, and the judicial officers, the magistrates, you should really make an, a commitment that case backlog in the magistrates' courts should be something of the past. So, and on that account, I want to very sincerely thank the Honorable the Chief Justice for continuously recruiting and posting magistrates in this region. And it is because of that that has enabled us to reach that situation where we can now have barely 200 cases per magistrate. Many years ago, when I started working as a magistrate grade one, I would handle 1,200. Now, we are only talking about 200 cases. The challenge, however, still lies in the High Court. At the end of July this year, our case load stood at 3,053 cases. And how many judicial officers in the High Court? Two. Myself and my brother, Justice George Okello. Come very near, High Court people, man. Court matter of the jury, this is my full of Aliba Jeff the Wee. And I'm getting to get out again. Now I know why the mega magistrate, Aliba Rio the Wee. So if we also again did a simple calculation, you'll find that I should be having 1,500 cases at any given time, and my brother would also have a similar number. Now that is the reason why cases in the high court take a bit of time. Because as a human being you are not going to be able to hear 1,500 cases and finish even in a year. Even if you worked day and night, weekends, public holidays, you wouldn't be able to finish. And remember that the cases which come to the high court are fairly complex cases. <laughs> I told the people of Amuro on Tuesday that the thing has now become like that story we were told, I think, in P1 or P2 about Yellow UBP, where a foil would start from this side, by the time it reaches the other side, the other side has overgrown. That's the situation we find ourselves in, in the High Court. Hey,